Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm here with Jess for adoption. Jess is a six-year-old, 115-pound, beautiful Rottweiler. Uh, in fact, she just turned six years old uh, two days ago on June 1st. Um, she's in beautiful condition, uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous specimen of a Rottweiler. And she has a wonderful temperament, the very best you can find in a Rottweiler, as you're going to see in her adoption video. Um, in Jess's adoption video, what I'd like to start off with is showing you a bit of a temperament assessment of her. I want to show that she's a very stable dog and that she's very social and very used to being handled. So Jess, what we're going to do is we're going to start with me manipulating. Okay? Alright. I'm going to start by pulling on her ears. I'm going to open her mouth. Put my hand in there. Put my face to hers. She gives nice kisses. Play with her paws. Yeah. Oh, such a big girl. Pull on this coat. Of course, she has little tiny stuff, no tail for me to pull on. But I'm sure she wouldn't mind even if she had one. You're a good girl, Jess. Oh, yes. Yes, we're playing. We're playing, aren't we? Come on. <laughs> she's a very loving girl. As you can see, she's very bonded with me already. Um, she really loves people. and Once she trusts someone, she really wants to be by their side like their shadow. So she's a great companion to have, aren't you, baby? Aren't you? You're a good girl. Give me a kiss. No kissy? I'll give you a kiss. Now, Jess loves treats. And I'm going to give her one here. As you can see, she has a voracious appetite. To explain why she's such a big girl. Yes. Here's another one for you, baby. And <laughs> slow down, sweetheart. She does like to eat fast and uh, does love her treats. But she is, although uh, very fast in taking the treats, she's also very gentle. Here, baby. Here, baby. See, I can put my face to hers. Oh, good girl. And she's just fine when she's taking her treats. Okay, another one. <laughs> Very interesting how you like to take treats so much. So, it probably looks a little bit scary to have a 115 pound dog grabbing at treats so much, but she really is quite gentle and careful not to grab any fingers when she does so. Yeah, good girl, okay. Well, I've got one more treat here. I'd like to show that she does know some basic commands pretty well, so. Jess? Of course, she knows the sit command. Down, down, down. She knows the down command well. Oh, you're back up again. Okay, Jess, can you shake? Shake, come on, can you shake? No, you don't want to shake. Okay, you want this treat though, huh? All right, baby, here you go. Good girl. You love to eat, don't you? All right, baby. Well, I'd like to show Jess on leash just a little bit. So I'm gonna take her for a little walk just to show that she's easily managed. She's a very powerful, very large dog, yet she's very, very easy to walk. You want to go one more time? Come on. Come on, baby. Jeff, sit. Good, sit. And down. Stay. Come. Sit. Down. Oh, good girl. Belly rubs. Okay. 
So you can see she knows her basic commands and uh, she's very willing to uh, obey those commands for person. So she's a very biddable dog. A wonderful girl. Okay. Come on. Up. Come on. Come and sit. Down. Oh. Good girl. Oh, such a good girl. Aren't you a good girl? Yes, there we go. Let's get you rolled over. <laughs> so, in the rest of Jess's adoption video, what I'd like to show you are various scenes of Jess interacting with other dogs and even a few cats and going out into a few social situations with me. I'm going to take her to a PetSmart where I have a friend who's a trainer there and let her get introduced to that. And I'm gonna take her to another friend's house that has a little six-year-old girl for Jess to interact with, to show with children. Now, although Jess is a very stable dog and very well behaved and uh, very gentle, I would caution anyone that's adopting a 115 pound dog to please use common sense and not have her around tiny children that she would easily knock over if she were to walk into them, or around little cats, perhaps. They would be very frightened of such a big dog. So, let's start uh, the rest of this video by me bringing out uh, the rest of my pack to interact with Jess. And so you'll be seeing her with other Rottweilers, with uh, Pitbull, with Chows, with Dachshunds, and other small breed dogs including a little Chihuahua and she gets along very well with all of them and uh, lives in the house with them 24 hours a day. So shall we go get your friends? You ready to go? Come! <laughs> oh you're a lap dog. Very special girl. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get your friends. Come on. <laughs> So here's Jess with her pack of uh, buddies from her foster home. One of Jess's very favorite activities is squirrel hunting here. We have quite a few squirrels on this property and Jess and a few of the other dogs at the house love to make sport of chasing the squirrels. Come on, Jess. Come on. We gotta go see other dogs. Come on. Jess, come. Oh, there's Gertrude, one of our senior Rottweilers that Jess lives with. Come on, Gertrude. Come on. Jess, come here. Come say hi to Romeo. Hi, Romeo. One of Jess's housemates, Romeo, a little 10-pound dachshund. Little Ziggy here, a skipper key mix. He's about 20 or so pounds, lives with Jess. You get an idea of just how big Jess is standing next to Gertrude. Gertrude is a breed standard female Rottweiler. Jess is a very big girl. And she's a big girl, yes. Baxter! Come on, Bambi! <laughs> Tulip. There's Tulip, our little beagle. Come on. Let's go see Bambi. Bambi. Come here, Jess. Jess. Come here, Jess. Jess. Come. Come say hi to Bambi. Well, Bambi is the tiniest dog at the house. We're babysitting her for the weekend. She's an eight-pound chihuahua, and Jess has just done perfectly with her as well. 
What are you thinking, Zig? See, nobody's afraid of Jess. They all feel very comfortable around her. I think she's going to go get a drink. Let's go see what kind of games we can get going, huh? Sam, come on. Well, the squirrel hunt is on. Okay, well, let's move on to another pack of dogs for Jess to play with. We have plenty more dogs for her to socialize with. We'll be right back with more dogs. Ted, Lily, and Daisy. Lily's a somewhat dominant Rottweiler, so she's telling Jess to be submissive, and Jess is doing so. Jess is pretty interested in playing with Ted. He's a very playful dog, so she keeps trying to work her way over to Ted. Jess, would you like to have some other friends come out for a while? Let me go get some others. 